What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916. You know, uh, there hasn't been a lot of shows being made showing strong men. Men that kick ass and take names. Men that stand up for what it means to be a man. And then I saw Terminal List on Amazon Prime with Chris Pratt written by a Navy SEAL based on his uh, book series I haven't seen the book series and uh, forgive me for not knowing his name but I was listening to him on Joe Rogan talking about the the series and then it popped up on Amazon Prime and it's uh, man it's a hell of a series I don't want to give it away because you guys need to watch it and I'm not getting paid to talk about it but um, great cinematography great acting you know I'm a big military fan shout out to all the branches the uh, Navy SEALs man some some kick ass dudes man uh, Coronado Island um, you know, I had a stepdad in the Coast Guard, so, you know, I've been to that, that area. I, I haven't been on that particular base, but I'm familiar with the area. And, um, man, you know, that type of training, men mental um, preparedness is, uh, is highly respected, man. The utmost respect to all you guys out there, Special Forces, Delta Force, um, Rangers, um, uh, airborne, anybody who's dedicates himself to being um, of a specialty in the military. But um, yeah, man, it shows you how deep it goes when they actually experiment on our soldiers and how um, life is valued and how a man endures and how he redeems his family, man. He, he's a man on a mission and it's a strong masculine role it's a role that you know growing up watching shows that show these strong individuals it's inspirational never settle for average has always been my motto in life so i've been fortunate enough to get together with the brand nsfa and become a brand ambassador because there's no room for mediocrity in life so whether you're out here and you're an athlete, you're in entertainment, you're a business person, represent and pick you up a hat. And for those of you who are law enforcement, military, veterans, first responders, use code USA15 and get 15% off. Click the link in the description and never settle for average. And it's sad that we don't have more movies like that being made that show these type of individuals who make a difference in our world and our society. You know, when you talk about being a protector, when you talk about somebody taking care of their family, somebody who has values, who has integrity, who has morals. I mean, I, I think this series, in my opinion, covers it all, man. And, um, you know, me and the wife enjoyed watching it, man. I binge watched it. I, I mean, I had two days and I was up till 1.30 one night watching the series on um, on the 4th of July, coincidentally. And um, yeah, man, Chris Pratt did a hell of a job and having real Navy SEALs on the set, coordinating a lot of the, the um, action and stuff in there so that it was realistic, they did a great job, but you have to wonder why they don't want more strong men in our society. You know, when all hell breaks loose, when shit hits the fan, I'm not running to no woman to ask her to protect me. I'm not gonna get on my knees and tell you to stop. I'm not gonna beg for you to not hurt me and my family. I'm gonna bust your head, man. I'm gonna bust your head and anybody with you trying to hurt my family or my people, my friends, I ain't going for no get on your knees and beg for mercy shit, man. You know, when you look at back in the day, when they used to come through conquering, whether it's Genghis Khan, the Ottoman Empire, the Roman Empire, they would slaughter the weak males, first off, 
take the kids and women and make them slaves, man. And the soldiers, they would kill them all. What are you going to do, man? If you're a weenie and they come kicking in your door and they tell you, we're going to take what we want and we're going to do what we want with your family. What are you going to do? See, I ain't with no weenie shit, man. And I don't mess with weenies. I don't have weenies around me. I ain't going for that bullshit. What you want to do on your own is fine, but I ain't with raising no weenies, man. You need strong men to protect. You need these alphas to lead. Somebody's got to take the forefront, man. You can't have somebody in the trenches crying and, and panicking and worrying about, oh my, what am I going to do? Or having sympathy when you're in war, man. War is brutal. A lot of you guys ain't never been in the trenches. Somebody got to shake up on you and then pray, man, you ain't no, please stop. You better get him before he gets you, man. Ain't no bowing down, man. Catching fades, defending your family, knowing how to use the Second Amendment to protect yourself. Man, I, I, I mean, yeah, I get riled up about this. And yeah, I'm an ex felon so I know what I, what I can and can't do. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going to let nobody violate me or my family. And I give a shout out to the uh, uh, Antonio Fuqua because uh, he was the um, director on that. Great, great directing. And man, we need to make more movies like that independently if we have to. Um, you know, a series like Jack Ryan where you got strong figures, man. Because all this feminization shit, man, is really, it's an, it's an agenda and trying to make every man want to be able to get his cheeks busted, man. That's some bullshit, man. We bust some female cheeks over here. And I ain't never seen a dude in the pen talking about he can get pregnant. I'm gonna keep a 100. Ain't no nigga I ever seen, a real nigga from the hood, real nigga from Ivy League, anybody who's a man say they can get pregnant, man. Big Herc 916. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.